There has been three deaths on Mount Cato this week in a span of just five days. On July 21, Afghan climber Ali Akbar Saki died on Cato near Camp 4. Cause of his death was initially thought to be altitude sickness but was later confirmed to be cardiac arrest. As of today, his remains are still on the mountain. On the same day, July 21, a three-member group consisting of Matthew Eakin from Australia, Richard Cartier and Justine Dubé Fami, both from Canada, had reached Lawyer Camp 4 at 7600 meters as part of the acclimatization climb on Mount Cato. The next day, on July 22, the three seemed to have started heading down towards base camp but looks like they lost contacts as Richard and Matthew did not reach Camp 1. After four days, on July 26, the rescue team spotted the body of Richard Cartier at Camp 1 and the body of Matt Eakin at Advanced Base Camp. The exact cause of their deaths are unclear at this moment, but it's assumed they could have fallen on the steep snow slope while descending from Camp 1. It has to be noted that more than 90 people have died on Mount Cato so far. Meanwhile, on the 12th highest mountain, Broadby, there has been a second death of the season. Scottish climber Gordon Henderson, who was part of the British Services Mountaineering Expedition, went missing on July 19. Now, the Royal Air Force reported that he is believed to be dead on the mountain. It should be noted that earlier this month, Pakistani high-altitude worker Sharif Satpara had died on Broad Peak after falling through a snow cornice near the summit, while another Pakistani climber, Iman Karim Shimshali, died after falling into a crevasse near the base camp in Keshapuram 2. With these, the total number of deaths in Karakoram this season has increased to 6. Rest in peace.